Nicholas's response to server downtime and rampant hacking. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pi Network Daily. If you have been involved in crypto and Pi Network, you surely understand that this space is filled with numerous traps and sophisticated schemes. Scammers and hackers are constantly looking for ways to deceive users, especially now that PyCoin holds value. Whether you are a user or an investor, you face many risks when holding PyCoin. Besides the risk of being hacked due to carelessness, network issues such as unstable connections, overloaded servers crashing, or features becoming inaccessible are also prevalent. This is precisely what is happening with the Pi network. Many reports on various platforms indicate that in the past two to three days, users have encountered issues accessing their Pi wallets. Some other pioneers encountered many strange transactions sending Pi to their wallet with mainnet congratulations. Given the current challenges that pioneers are facing, we are awaiting a stronger solution from the Pi core team, particularly Nicholas, the founder and technical director of the Pi network project. Today, we are making this special video to analyze the recent unusual signs on the network with you. Protecting your Pi wallet and assets is a top priority when engaging in the online space, so we believe this video will be extremely helpful for pioneers in safeguarding their assets. Part 1. Consequences of Unexplained Network Congestion Over the past three days, the Pi network has experienced several disruptions. These issues have been widely reported by various groups. Specifically, two major problems causing community concern are Pi nodes not providing continuous rewards and Pi wallets occasionally being unable to load. These technical errors typically originate from the project's servers. If you pay closer attention, you will also notice that during this period, Pi coin has stopped being transferred to Pioneer's wallets. This situation is causing various localized issues for the network and market participants. Specifically, inability to access wallets disrupts many Pi trading and exchange activities. Instability might trigger sell-offs due to Pioneer's fear. Nodes constantly reporting zero rewards discourage node operators, potentially causing them to shut down the nodes. The project has yet to comment on this phenomenon. This silence is a typical response from the Pi core team to network instability, and it might indicate that they are addressing the issue silently. Typically, when an incident occurs, projects usually inform the community and update on the problem's resolution progress. Part 2. Hackers undermine network security. This is not the first time we have discussed this issue. However, it has intensified in recent days. This situation poses a threat to the project and, most importantly, to the pioneers holding Pi coins. The root cause originates from an additional feature developed by the Pi Core team for sending Pi coins in the wallet. When transferring Pi, besides the recipient's address, there is a field for entering a description. This is similar to banks requiring a transaction note. Sophisticated hackers have exploited this feature to hack user accounts. Firstly, they design a website that looks exactly like the Pi browser wallet. You can't tell the difference between the real and the fake, except by checking the domain. The only legitimate domain of the project is wallet.pinit.com. This is the sole domain where you can safely enter your 24-word recovery phrase. There are hundreds of fake domains, such as walletpinit.com, missing the period, wallets.pinit.com, adding an S to wallet, wallet.pinets.com, adding an S to pinit, and many other scenarios. If you are not careful, you won't be able to distinguish the differences. Then, they send a Pi transfer request to your wallet. When you click on the details, the memo field contains various messages, such as congratulations on winning a prize or receiving mainnet Pi. The Pi amount is usually small, like 0.00314 Pi coin. They often target Pi wallets that have recently received mainnet Pi and are in a 14-day lock period. These users are usually not familiar with the operations and cannot differentiate the real domain. If you follow the fake website, it will ask for your 24-word recovery phrase just like the legitimate domain. If you are not vigilant and enter the phrase, you will immediately lose all your Pi. Although many reports have been submitted to the Pi Core team regarding accounts attempting these scam actions, there has been no immediate prevention. Therefore, you must be careful when handling domains within the Pi browser. We have clarified the issues the network is currently facing. We hope this helps pioneers identify the risks of scams and wallet hacks, aiding in your transactions and asset protection. CryptoLeak VN is pleased to accompany and explore Pi Network with the pioneers over the past period. 
Thank you for trusting and supporting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to receive the latest notifications about the Pi Network. To stay continuously updated on Pi Network, you can join the Crypto Leap VN Community Facebook group. We share a lot of quick news about Pi Network and trading signals on these social media platforms. The link to join is in the video description below. Thank you to all the pioneers for watching. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.